we're going to do SPF and self tan. I'm going to still say fake tan. Do you say fake tan? I say fake tan. tan. What's oh, wrong okay. with that? Um, I'm not supposed to though, are you? People don't like it. Why? People. We have just filmed some skincare favourites and some makeup favourites. And Ruth has just been quaffed. Look at the hair. Just want you to just take a minute and feel something for me filming with this. Hold on. Oh my god. Oh, oh it's all got my lip gloss. Good! <laughs> Shall I go first? That is my evil plan. You go first. <laughs> <laughs> so if we keep looking down, this is why. Look. See? Oh, oh, oh. oh, 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 oh <laughs> <laughs> so we're not looking at our feet or looking out the window. There's animals around. Ruth Scaff. Yeah. My first SPF. Mm -hmm. Everyone knows I love this. La Roche Posay and Belios XL. This is new facelifted, updated oh. range, which got slightly different packaging. It's the ultra light. Have a little test. I will have a little test. I'll get the wipes ready. Oh yeah. no, that's for the fake time, isn't it? Well, we might need a little bit. We're going to be coating our hands in SPF. Nice, nice and light, completely invisible, totally. slightly mattified finish. Mm -hmm. Great for people who have got slightly oily skin, I think. But uh, I mean, it's not drying. It's not mattifying, but it doesn't no. add any oil. It's not oily. My turn, stop. I guess, sorry. Oh, it's selfish. My first one is the one that was most popular on our holiday last year when we went as a family. Oh, I love that. Clarins SPF 30, Sun Wrinkle Control Cream for Face. Um, SPF 30, UVA, UVB, Broad Spectrum. I love this, you don't burn. It's lovely and it's a proper sun cream, so they'll, they'll have a bit more coverage than the and Thelios, well it will feel like it. But actually, oh my god, there are very few sun creams that smell as good as Clarins, I'm sorry. I love it, god, that just oh, makes me tea on holiday. Oh, doesn't it? You just wanna go. Yeah, and it's nice and like, uh, it's just, for me, this is a traditional sun cream form. Proper This is what I associate sun with cream. putting it on and making it feel like you're wearing sun cream. Yeah, but it's still light enough because when we're on holiday I always use that on top of moisturiser and underneath makeup and it wasn't cloggy or anything sticky just and really does the trick as well and it obviously was popular across the family which is ages you know nine up to mm, upwards from my age um, because it went up ran out the quickest and everyone wanted to use it that's nice. the first one all of the ones that we're showing are all broad spectrum aren't they uva I uvb think so. yes yeah should be good well done us my next one, um, oh, let's talk about something a bit different. Okay. Jason, I bought this from Feel Unique because specifically I had a couple of people that asked if they um, could get some recommendations for more natural, organic ones, and I didn't have any in my collection of them. So I went looking for them. And um, this one I think is very, very good. It's the Jason Sun Sports Sun Cream. He's a very popular organic brand, Jason, isn't he? Yeah. Is it somebody called Jason, do you reckon? I don't remember the story. I just imagine I got it. Like, Alright, I'm Jace. Alright, Jace got me on the You like did you? Beautiful. Yeah. Great. Okay, are we filming or are we doing our hair? You I'm look not, fabulous. I'm Stop it. it now. Oh my god, I actually hate you a little bit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right, sorry, God. <laughs> When you're sitting next to someone who looks like this and they're worried about their hair, mm -hmm. this smells amazing. Oh, it's coconutty. But do you not think? I thought it was going to be like the claggiest, most no, awful. You know the old one, natural really ones, thick. just used to be awful. It feels like a really high-tech formula. I'm really impressed with it. How much was it? Oh my god, I don't know, I have to get the receipt. I, I literally bought about 30 things at a time. I spent a fortune. Which is stupid, considering that I have a massive room for a thing. Yeah. But sometimes I get requests for stuff and, and you haven't used it so you go and buy it. And it's nothing that I know about and so I just go and think, oh, I hear you. Yeah. Oh it's my turn. Okay, my next one is Shantikai. Oh yeah. Broad spectrum. I've never tried this, you know. SPF 50 primer ultra sun protection sunscreen 
Water resistant, oil free, paraben free, shake well before use. Now you can use it, you have to really shake it otherwise it just goes everywhere. Um, you can use it as a primer or as an SPF. Da -da. Beautiful! <laughs> it worked! Ooh, very it's light. Really good, super, and super light. That's not, it's not, it's not oil, is it? That? No, it's oil free. What is that though? That's <sighs> and it's steaming. Don't know. Something else. It's not oil. Um, anyway, it oh. is not the cheapest. Mm. No. But if you're a Chantepai fan and you want to keep your things within that same usage, they do all sit very nicely together. Mm. If you use this under just skin, which I'm obsessed with, it just works perfectly. There's no stickiness, no rolling, no ugh. Um And obviously you're only going to use it on your face, so it'll last you the whole of the summer. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. And that's 50, is it? Yep. Broad Spectrum SPF 50. My next one, uh, Dr. Marco, Daily Defence. UVA, UVB protection, just a beautiful formula. Gorgeous formula. We just did about a 20 minute talk on this, which is probably not going to make it. Maybe you'll do highlights of it. But um, anyway, we were just talking about how many people are going a bit over the top. Um, With SPF. Overzealous. Overzealous. But that's going to be quite controversial. So. No, but we weren't taking away from the importance of using SPF. We were, me we were saying... It's important to get your vitamin D. You have to get your vitamin D. and. It, and as Marco will say in the video, it depends on where you live and your lifestyle. So you don't have to whack on a 70 every day. There are people who wake up, shower, put an SPF 50 on and don't leave the house. Mm. Yeah, you don't need it. Pointless. What's your next one? Oh, um, let's do skin suiticals while we're doing expensive ones and then we'll come back down. Uh, Brightening UV Defense, SPF 30, Broad Spectrum, blah, 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 blah. I love Skin Suitable's formulas. Oh, there we go, ready? Whoa, it's spurted. <laughs> now, super light, mm. super duper light. Smell the alcohol in that. Let's put a bit of alcohol in him. Can you? Oh, I'm going to have to go and check the box. Can I you? Wind you up. <laughs> I can a little bit, but I just knew that it wind you up after what I said before. <laughs> <laughs> um, SKF 30 high protection, they also do a 50, the 50 is going to slide into I love it. skin suiticals. I love skin suiticals. They just, they still do clinical trials, clinical testing on everything, which is really unique. Marco does too. There's a few brands that do. Not um, many though, do Not they? many, because it's really expensive. Yeah. But lovely formula, really light, absorbs really easily. I think the thing we've both got in common with our formulas <laughs> is that they have to be light, they have to absorb, and you have to feel like you're not wearing them. Yeah. And it helps if they smell nice, but that's just me. Unless I'm on the beach and I like to feel like I am wearing it, which is why I like the more traditional ones, like, like a, a Clarin and a Clinique. Or, yeah, because mm. you can feel it on your skin. The wine Tropic. Oof. Ooh. Anyway. My next one, which is super, super, I hate saying super light, oh. but it's really light. Um, Don't hit yourself. I know, that actually really hurt. <laughs> it's, it's UVA and UVB protection. It doesn't have any alcohol. So there are a lot of people that are asking, you know, I want a light one, but I don't want the alcohol because they've had the fear of God putting something about anything with alcohol. It makes you age 20 years in a day. Oh my God. Blah, 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 blah. Everyone chill out about ingredients. Um, <laughs> <laughs> now you would think that would be coming from me, but yeah. no. Uh, so, yeah. Um, we're good. I didn't realize when I saw this packaging, I how light is that? I didn't realise it was Lox Ten. I know it's really cool, isn't it? This is actually a permanent range. Lox Ten Brazil is different. They do different products, so they don't import oh, them there. Smell it's amazing. That. I want them to make it permanent because I think if you saw this at the oh. tip and you were buying other stuff, it just looks like holiday. And how much is it? It can't have been that expensive. It's teeny. I think it's twenty-four. Wow, it smells amazing. I mean, you don't get a lot in there. I bet if you went to Brazil and bought it, it'd be cheap as chips. We could do that. Mm. Next video. Go to Brazil. Yeah. <laughs> What's your next one? Right, my next one is Estee Lauder Daywear, SPF 50, multi protection. I have some people saying it can't be SPF 50 because it doesn't say UVA and UVB. Bear in mind, Lauder's made in the States and the US has completely different rules 
to the EU and to Australia. Mm. All three continents completely different, but the SPF factor should always be the same. So if they've made the claim, you can be confident that it's an SPF 50. Um, again, I like this because it's last step in the skincare regimen, which is, which it actually says in the packaging. Oh, I bought the new one. I was gonna bring the old one, so it was all prepped and I didn't have to do it on screen. Look, it's so pretty. Oh. Super light, you wouldn't expect it to be. You said super light. Oh no, we're saying super light. We're turning time. Oh, into no. transatlantic people. Oh. <laughs> and it smells oh, the cucumbers. And it smells of cucumbers. Do you like the day wear that's got the bursting beads? That makes no. You do you not like that? I don't I do bursting that. beads <laughs> unless it's in the Pericone mask. I like those bursting beads. Oh, I Shrek mask. Shrek mask. Um, but yeah, really nice, day wear, really light, SPF 50, Lauder, available everywhere, which is something else I always ask for, so. Have you got a six? No! Well, how, oh yeah, you last one, last one. Uh, again, if you want an alcohol free, an alcohol free, oh, why do you keep hitting yourself? It's really upsetting me, I, we're up to about 40 minutes on this Oh, video. just move it! Um, Benefit Dream Screen, you've probably seen a lot going on about this. Uh, I think really good value for money because you get a whopping great big 45 mil and it's about the same as like the Clinique um, mm -hmm. light one. Uh, and just really, really light. Have you tried this one? No, go for it. I don't have this. Ooh. Oh my god, it's really light. It's liquid. Yeah, but dries to almost matte. Almost matte. So, so it doesn't feel drying. Yeah, it's really good. It's really we good need the wipes. Makeup. We are covered I know. in SPF. So really like that one too, and I think good value for money. I mean, Infelios is probably the best in terms of value for money, but... We're just having a clean from SPF. With wipes. Yeah. Caroline's preferred way of cleansing at all times. <clears throat> Boom. My last one is Bobbi Brown. SPF 50 Protective Face Base. The reason I picked this one is because it is designed specifically to be used underneath your makeup. So if you've got any doubt, as in, maybe you wouldn't use the Clarins sun cream because it's a proper sun cream under your makeup, although I do. Um, this one is, that's what it's made for. So, look, look how light, look, look, look. Oh, nice. So, I'll show you, it's really, and gone. Yeah. Smells beautiful. All of them have been pretty much. Yeah, and it's, SPFs have really come a long way, I think. They're yeah, nice. even in the last couple of years. Yeah, year. they're now, you know, everyone keeps upping the game and it's all about textures and wearability and photo stability and all those kind of things. I think pretty much everything we've shown is yeah. an A-OK. -okay. I'd say so. Marvellous. Well, we hope you enjoyed the SPF video. Tune in to Ruth's channel for our fake tan video, uh -huh. self tan, um, and we shall see you again soon, thanks. Oh, I remember to watch your Zellens video. Oh yeah, and I'll put a link below to the interviews with, the interview which is going to be across two videos, Kelsey Breeze, with Dr. Marco Lenz from Zellens talking about SPF in a much bigger detail. Bye! Bye.